Women's bodybuilding champion Dina Taji al Farouki is a renowned fitness expert, trainer, motivational speaker and stylist. Today, she encourages women to get fit and healthy, however, finding success and gaining respect within an industry which even today is still dominated by men has not come without its challenges. We sat down with Dina to find out more about her journey and how she inspires others. A pioneer in the fitness industry, Dina Taji al Farouki credits three lessons as the most important she has learned so far. One, never settle for less than complete personal happiness. Two, refuse to acknowledge limitations that frustrate your goals. And three, always keep fighting because success does not happen overnight. Today, she advises others on how to meet their goals, but this passion and determination, according to Dina, came after she overcame her own set of struggles. When I was around the age of 21, I had gained around 35 kilos in one year. And when I realized that I became overweight and how I was living an unhealthy lifestyle, that's when I decided to start dieting and working out. But then I got a little too extreme and I started getting obsessed with doing cardio and jogging every day, any chance that I get. And I lost dramatic weight and I was like way underweight. And then I lost a lot of muscle. And when I realized how skinny I had got, I was like, this is not healthy, you know? So I started getting tips here and there from people in the gym on how to, you know, be able to gain some muscle mass and kind of sculpture my body in a way where I was more stronger and fitter. And um, when I started eating healthier and gaining a little bit of weight, then I was like, man, I want to learn everything that I can about fitness. And that's when I took it to the next level and started enjoying weightlifting and having fun with it and realizing how, you know, it made me strong and, and feeling much more healthier than just sticking to one certain type of exercise. I felt like it was really good to do a variety of exercises to be strong and everything and become like an athlete. Traditionally, industries promoting strength and fitness have been male-dominated areas. Being an Arab woman, what challenges did you face when you first started in the industry? And what advice would you give other women looking to make their mark in this field? Yeah, I definitely face some challenges, especially on social media. I'd get a little comments here and there of, you know, men or women commenting that, you know, a woman shouldn't be masculine and shouldn't be lifting weights or having any form of muscle. But you know what, really, at the end of the day, it's what makes someone feel comfortable with themselves and happy with themselves. And you shouldn't worry too much about what other people think. As long If it's not bothering you, then, you know, I don't think it should bother anyone. Um, and a lot of women, they ask me, oh, I want to work out, but I don't want to be too muscular and I don't want too much muscle. And it's really hard, really, actually, to gain muscle, especially for us women. We do not have testosterone levels like men do. So we cannot build muscle like men do. It takes a very long period of time and, former, and, and proper dieting in order to gain this muscle mass. So, and it's not even that extreme. And women who are very, very extreme and they look like a man, it's because they're taking some form of growth hormone or testosterone or steroids, which I do not suggest at all. So, you know, I, I don't think women should be afraid at all. They need to understand that, you know, when you, ha when you have muscle, this is what's gonna burn more fat and keep the fat off. And the best way to gain that muscle is by weightlifting. And I don't suggest, okay, you can only do bodybuilding or weightlifting, but it's to do a variety of exercises and not just stick to something like running outside or doing exercises that will make you lose that muscle and, and, and not build that muscle to keep the weight off. It's a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle to be strong, to be healthy, to li li live a long, healthy life, you know, feeling good inside and outside. Women's bodybuilding has been seen as quite controversial, with many women looking at less intense forms of exercise, fearing that they may masculinize their bodies. So how does a woman whose profession is bodybuilding respond to this idea? And is this type of training suitable for any woman? Yeah, I definitely faced some uh, challenges here in the Middle East when I first entered the industry. Not in the fitness industry, of course I got a lot of support from everyone who's involved into fitness. But people who aren't much aware of it, they think it's a bit extreme for a woman to even work out or even definitely to be lifting weight. They would think that's too masculine and it's not feminine at all. But people who aren't aware much about um, health and fitness don't realize how important it is to have muscle and how it keeps off the weight, first of all. And not just that, how it relieves stress, lowers your cholesterol, you know, prevents you from getting diabetes, from cancer. It's a variety of things. It's not just about the image of it. And a lot of women also here, they're just starting to be more familiar with the fitness industry and I get a lot of questions on social media. You know, internationally, fitness is known everywhere. You see a lot of women who are fit all around the world. You don't see a lot of women in Dubai that are Arabic women that are taking this fitness to another level. 
So a lot of people aren't aware of it yet. So when they see it, they think it's a bit extreme, but we're no different. I think all of us women should be strong. There's nothing wrong with that. No one should think, oh, look, this American girl or Brazilian girl, she's fit. These people are fit. No, we should all be fit. We should all be healthy. We should all take care of ourselves. We should never think because we're living in, a, in, a, in an environment that doesn't have a lot of women that are fit and a lot of Arabic women who aren't really working out or doing bodybuilding and think this is too extreme. It's not too extreme unless you take it to a very extreme level. You know, it really all depends on the woman's goal. It all depends on in every one individual goal. I do suggest weightlifting. It doesn't have to be dramatic like, oh, I'm gonna lift heavy weight and I have to be a bodybuilder to look good. That's not the case at all. But trying to lift that weight and create a little bit of mass is what's gonna give you shape and kind of make that body look more toned. Welcome back. With issues related to body shape and weight loss seeming to dominate the lives of women more than ever these days, how can someone who is particularly not happy with their weight or how they are feeling start to make a positive change and properly educate themselves in a bid to not only look good, but more importantly, stay healthy? The advice I would give someone to, to get motivated and to start working out is not thinking about the big picture and think about the little habits that they can change in their daily life that can get them started. Because when you think, oh, I need to lose 20 kilo, I need to get, go to see a nutritionist, I need to get a gym membership, this is gonna discourage them. If they don't have money, if they don't have time, or if they're too busy, they're gonna be like, I don't have time to go to the gym, I don't have time to do this, I don't have the money to do that. And then they're never gonna do it. But if they focus on the things that they need to work on, like me in the beginning was even just drinking water. You know, it was very difficult for me to drink water. A lot of people don't realize how important it is to, for us to drink water. And I was slacking on that. So I put an alarm clock every couple of hours, drink that water, you know? Or I write on a piece of paper and I, put, and I tape it in the mirror in my bathroom of my goals. So it's like, I promise myself and I'm facing it every day. I go brush my teeth and it's like, you know, whatever goals that you're working on, go walk outside for 20 minutes, you know? Go walk the dog or take your kids and play with them in the playground. Whatever it is, just to be active. It doesn't necessarily mean I have to go to the gym in order to lose weight. If you just go outside for 20 minutes and you take a walk or a jog or whatever that you can do to get you started and to, to have that feeling that it feels good because nobody wants to go to the gym. Nobody wants to work out. Who wants to go break a sweat, work out, oh, exhausted coming from work? The only people that enjoy and look forward to working out are the ones who started and saw results. Many work up the motivation to get fit, but I think a lot of people run into problems when they actually have to maintain and sustain a healthy lifestyle. How do you actually keep the motivation going? Honestly, I picture myself in the future. I picture myself in 10 years, 20 years, 30 years. How am I gonna be when I'm 50? How am I gonna be when I'm 70 if I don't work out, if I don't eat healthy, you know? And now I'm just starting to look like, I wanna be able to take care of my parents when they're older. They can depend on me, I'm there for them, I'm healthy for them. I wanna be able to have children, see my children grow up, see my grandchildren grow up. You know, it's not only about myself, it's about my family. It's about the next generation, my future, and that's why I picture it and I'm like, nobody wants to live in a hospital taking medication, God forbid, getting a disease or a sickness or anything. We cannot control these things, but we can make changes in our life that can make a huge impact on the end result. You know, I mean, we can, eating healthy and working out is not only about having a fit body, but it's strengthening our immune system to fight all of these diseases that a lot of people are facing nowadays. And I think this is the most important thing that people need to focus on and remind themselves of. So as Dina continues on her fitness journey, does she draw on any of the lessons learned in her physical pursuits to be successful in other areas of her life? The reason why I'm so passionate about what I do, and I'm always like trying to convince everyone, like come work out with me, come to the gym, let me put you on a nutrition plan and stuff like that, is because I see how it affected me and how it affected a lot of my clients as well. How it affected how I'm more structured when I'm working on projects, how I'm more disciplined. I wake up earlier, I sleep earlier, you know? And when you have a plan, because you cannot really be successful and reach a, a really fitness, a fit level, unless you're very disciplined and dedicated and persistent and have a plan. If you come to the gym with no plan and then you're like, oh, what am I gonna work out today? Okay, I'll do that machine over there. Maybe I'll go walk in the treadmill for a bit, you know? But when you have a plan and you're like, today I'm doing this, bam, 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 bam. Then 
you, you succeed in this, you feel good. You walk out of here and you're like, wow, I did the workout. I feel amazing. I feel better. I look better. I'm stronger than last week. Then you start having a plan for everything else in life. When you're working on a project, you're like, no, now I need a plan. Now I need to be structured. I need to be disciplined. I need to work on this at this specific time because it, it, it affects everything. It affects even your personality. It really does, you know? A lot of people are dealing with insecurities. Of course, the most important thing is to love yourself regardless. But let's face it, a lot of people deal with insecurities and are uncomfortable with certain things about themselves. And when you feel good and you feel strong and you're working out and you're happy with yourself, you radiant with positive energy. You walk around smiling, you're happy, nothing really affects you anymore. And it's like you become even more of a beautiful person. This energy captivates people's eye and they're like, wow, this person is cool. Her energy is like up there and she's, she's happy within her own skin. And this is very attractive and, and, and people love that. And everyone wants to feel like that and be like that. Well, that brings us to the end of our program. If you would like to know more about any of the stories you have seen tonight, you can contact us at UAE Weekly at city7tv.com or by calling us on 04367 2230. From myself and the entire team, have a great week ahead.